work, so I must keep myself on track. Good afternoon. Thank you for being here today to stand up for civilized, respectful, and legal Maine politics. We have seen it all over the last five years, haven't we? We have seen our governor crudely insult our country's president, use an obscenity about the members of the Maine NAACP, demean the loggers of northern Maine, use playground name-calling with the Speaker of the House and the President of the Senate, condone robocalls that insult Republican legislators, discuss the desirability of murdering Portland journalists, Lewiston elected officials and a cartoonist in Bangor, the latter statement made in the front of the cartoonist's son. And the waste of time of Maine legislators and the taxes of Maine citizens by playing veto games this spring. Sadly, sadly none of this was a surprise to anyone. Those of us who love Maine, those of us who participate in the public life of Maine, those of us who are proud to be known around the country as the state of Margaret Chase Smith, Ed Muskie, yes. Bill Cohen, George Mitchell, Mitchell, Olympia Snow, Susan Collins, and Angus King, we are saddened and we are embarrassed. This year the governor has gone beyond embarrassing and saddening. He's ventured into bullying, intimidation, and the flagrant misuse of power. In January, the governor used the threat of withholding public funds to force President John Fitzsimmons to resign from the presidency of the Maine Community College System. In March, the governor decided not to spend the money from the lands for Maine future bonds that were approved by 59% of Maine voters in 2010 in order to coerce the legislature to approve his unwise forest management idea. That is and this month, the governor wrote at least two letters to the board of Goodwill Hinckley threatening to withhold public funds from the school if they hired a particular person. Oh. Governor LePage has gone beyond embarrassing. He's become a lawbreaker. It is time to say stop. It is time to stand up for the Maine Constitution. That's why we're here today. We want to find out the facts. What was the communication between Governor LePage and his staff with the Board of Goodwill Hinckley? And between Governor LePage and his staff with the Alphon Foundation? What are the laws relevant to the misuse of taxpayer dollars, the threatening of political opponents which bear on these actions? What are the remedies under these laws? We need to find out. And that's why the group of legislators here today has submitted a request to OPEGA for an investigation to begin immediately. This issue, this issue is beyond partisanship. The governor has attacked Republicans and Democrats alike all year. It's about what kind of politics we are going to have here in Maine. Are we going to forsake our traditions of civility and bipartisanship and go down the road of bitter and divisive and punitive political warfare? No. Are, we, are we going to allow a bully to break the laws of Maine with no consequences? No. We say no. We say no more. No more. We say let's fight back. And we say let's start the investigation today. Thank you. Thank you very much for taking time away from the important business of your um, that is taking place in the State House today. We really, really support your efforts. Um, it, you have been very courageous. You have stepped forward in a timely and unequivocal matter, m manner, and for that, we are all extremely grateful. Thank you so much.
who are not able to be present right now, we want them to know that we have their backs, that they will step forward and do the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, good speeches, right? Yeah. yeah. We have good First Amendment rights here and we use them. Um, now we're going to do another thing that we did back in the 60s. <laughs> and you'll indulge me again. We have a representative whose name is Dean Rikerson from Kittery who knows how to play the guitar and knows how to do folk singing. And he's going to give us a song or two. Dean. Well, I'd say words are very important, but song is equally important. So I adapted an old union song for today and dedicated to all of you. We are the people, the people shall be heard. We are the people, the people shall be heard. We don't need a dictator, the people shall be heard. Oh, we don't need a blowhard, the people shall be heard. We need to move main forward, the people shall be heard. We are the people, the people shall be heard. We are the people, the people shall be heard. A governor! Not a dictator, the people shall be heard. He keeps talking trashy, the people can be heard. He treats the workers nasty, the people shall be heard. He, the people, the people shall be heard. We are the people, the people shall be heard. We don't want a dictator, the people shall be heard. From Kittery to Bangor, the people shall be heard. We can't take it anymore, the people shall be heard. We are the people, the people shall be heard. We are the people, the people shall be heard. A governor, not a dictator, the people shall be heard. Yeah. Let's hear it. We are the people, the people shall be heard. more from Indian Island. Barbara and I talked for the first time yesterday. She has uh, taken the initiative to set up a moveon.org petition. It was called, is called, Recall or Impeach. Um, I signed this a long time ago. I don't know how many months ago. Um, and the numbers were kind of small on this petition. They would gain once in a while when there was a really bad uh, report in the press about what was going on with uh, LePage. But the numbers blossomed and blew out the top yesterday and she's going to tell you about that. We have the petitions here. She took the trouble to print out all the signatures and that's pretty amazing, I think. She's very dedicated to her petition. Afterwards, after this, we will take, a delegation of us will take her petitions in and deliver them to the clerk of the House of Representatives. Yeah. But I, I, wanted, I wanted to give Barbara credit 
for that and let her have the mic for a little while. I think she deserves it. Yeah. Oh boy, Rebecca, you don't know what you just did. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, I. it's true that uh, Rebecca and I did not speak until uh, yesterday. Uh, we didn't know of each other's uh, plight except that she had signed it. Uh, and. Um, Yesterday we had a uh, little over 8,800 uh, uh, signatures when I had to decide I, I wanted to print it and bring it, so I did. And uh, since that time, uh, at 12.20 last night, we went over 10,000 signatures. Thank you all so very much. I started the uh, I started the petition myself. I was uh, very dismayed at uh, how the governor treated uh, uh, our Indian tribes. Uh, I was also very dismayed at how he treats the poor, the elderly, and the disabled. I'm dismayed that a man can go to prison and pay his debt to society and then when he comes out he has to pee in a cup so that his children can eat. I am dismayed by that. And I don't have much else to say. I'm, I'm, uh, I've, I've got 8,800 signatures here. There's uh, probably at least 2,500 more, which uh, in the last 24 hours have been added to that. And we're going to take them in, and we're going to show them that we are the people. Yeah. And we are tired yeah. of the bully. We need to investigate and find out what really happened. For me, I thought the bond issue was illegal. I mean, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a lawyer, you know, but I thought that uh, we voted for it. He had no right to withhold it. But, uh, you know, uh, we'll see what is actually illegal or not. But thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think this rally is going to be like, unlike any you've ever been to. Um, because we're ordinary senior women, we are indulging ourselves, as you can tell. And I was an English major. So when I'm having a problem, I pull out my books and, um, and I read, and it makes me feel so much better. So I have this book called A Grateful Heart, Daily Blessings from Buddha to the, the Beatles. And I read and I read and I read and I couldn't really find anything that really worked. And I didn't want to say a prayer. But I found a verse. And it's so apt in this situation. Because I think that what has happened is there's a little bit of fear of what we're going to find out when we investigate and fear of how it might might not be handled just exactly right. Well, you can tell this rally wasn't handled exactly right, but you came anyway. That's right. That's right. So I think it's a fear of truth, and I want to read this. It's not very long, but it talks about not fearing truth. Do not fear the truth, hard as it may appear, grievously is it, as it may hurt. It is still right, and you were born for it. If you go out to meet and love it, let it exercise your mind. It is your closest friend and closest sister, and I will add closest brother to that. It came from the desert is fertile which I think also is apt because Maine is fertile and if we let the truth come out really good things are going to happen for us That's right. yeah. and we can make this state a magnificent state yeah. there are so many people who want that to happen we just have to take action and, and act judiciously and, and but act I think that's what we're here for, to encourage action. And now one last chance. 
<laughs> Hear us, legislators. We have your back. Investigate, investigate, investigate. Yeah. Hear us, legislators. We have your back. Investigate, investigate, investigate. We have your back. Investigate, investigate, investigate. Thank you so, so much for being here. We have a permit until one. You may mingle, chat. Uh, please remember to take your signs and your trash home with you since <laughs> Becky and I, I have a plastic bag but I just soon not have to use it. So thank you so much. This is just amazing. Yeah.